Weiss Weiss, and I'm here in my office to discuss the May issue of Baltimore Magazine, the outdoor issue. We tell you 55 places to hike, bike, take in the beauty of Maryland's nature. There's a reason why they call Maryland America in miniature. There is so much cool stuff to explore out there, including the NCR Trail and the Appalachian Trail. We tell you certain animals to look for, like the red fox and the blue heron. Um, we tell you the five highest peaks and the five most beautiful waterfalls. If you are outdoorsy or want to become outdoorsy, this is definitely the issue for you. One part of the cover story we call the Day Trip Survival Guide, and we sort of tell you what clothing to wear and what tools to pack and what to do if you encounter a snake or a bear, because there actually are bears in Maryland. But here's the thing, there's never been an instance of a bear attack ever in Maryland. So Ron Cassie, who wrote the whole thing, he said, don't panic, just leave the area if you see a bear. And I said to him, calmly leave the area, right? And he was like, nah, the, the bear's really not gonna bother you, just leave the area. But I made him put calmly in there, because if it was me, I'd be screaming and running. I'm so excited for you guys to meet Lefty Cray and our story, Big Fish, The Legendary Life of Lefty Cray. You don't know who he is. He's a fly fisherman and a rock on tour. He's 91 years old. Um, he talks about fly fishing. He talks about his life, his world travels, his good friends, including Tom Brokaw. And he is such a great character. And Lydia Willever, the writer, she just really captured it. And it's just sort of like hanging out with Lefty Cray, which is really a cool thing to do. Dining editor Jane Marion has done a great profile of Spike Jarity in Rebel with a Cause. Of course you know Spike, he's the creator of Woodbury Kitchen, Parts and Labor, Artifact, and it's almost like we've watched him grow up here in Maryland, starting with Spike and Charlie's, Joy America Cafe. Now the guy is a James Beard award-winning chef. He's got some really fascinating ideas about running restaurants, and he's so committed to his craft. I think you're going to like hearing what he has to say. We call it the outdoor issue, and we're not kidding. There's outdoor-related stuff all throughout the magazine, including a page on the best picnic spots, a page on all the cool gear that you can take when you go out into the woods, because really, what's the point of going if you don't have cool gear? A story on a woman who was starting like a cafe for mountain bikers. And again, remember, if you see that bear, 